Let's focus in on the U.S., though. Uh, we got some big news here. Alex Morgan out, Julie. What kind of impact is this on the national team, especially with some really good competition coming up? And who do you think steps up and takes advantage of these minutes that are now available? Yeah, I, I, it's always a big impact when, when you miss a player like Alex Morgan, and especially the way Alex Morgan's been playing in NWSL, leading the entire league um, and scoring a lot of goals and playing with a lot of confidence. So for her, you feel the pain a bit because these are two games you are, as a player, you're like, oh my gosh, I'd give anything to play in these games, and uh, this injury won't allow that to happen. However, it does provide an opportunity for Ashley Hatch to get some time in the nine and as we've been seeing in the NWSL. Sophia Smith plays in the nine for Portland often. Um, and so maybe she, she slides into the middle. And, and, and honestly, every time you have a good player down, we always say it's an opportunity for another player to step up. And so it's a good test for Hatch and for that front line to deal without an Alex Morgan in the lineup. No Alex Morgan, but Crystal Dunn is back in. How important of a player is she for Vlaco and this U.S. team, Julie? Yeah, her huge, huge Dunner gives energy and charisma. And I mean, you could see it in Vlako Andonovsky in the last camp. He said um, to us before the game, he said, just having Crystal back, she comes dancing into the locker room. She's full of joy. And I think honestly, that veteran leadership, that energy is something that with a young group you need and you want to see. And so I think they're thrilled to see her back, getting some time, uh, NWSL time, and doing well, I mean, by all accounts. So I think it's great news for her to be back there and for the team. They love having her in, in, the, in the locker room and on the field. Yeah, long absence there for, uh, for Crystal Dunn. We saw a lot of Emily Fox at left back. I thought she played pretty well, but I think it's, it's still at least clearly for now Crystal Dunn's position. She is, she is uh, one of the best players in the world for a reason, certainly at that left back spot, and really anywhere you put her as we see uh, in the National Women's Soccer League. All right, there's one other player on this roster, Julie, that I think uh, when we first got the list really jumped out at everybody. That's Alyssa Thompson. She is just 17 years old. She's the youngest call-up that we've had in over five years years. What can you tell us about this player and maybe what's the timeline where we might see her develop and, and become a part of this senior national team? Yeah, and think about this. Born in 2004. That's the year I retired. Oh. That's when she was born, which is crazy. <laughs> um, so uh, Aaron Heifetz, the press officer, said to me today that Alyssa is closer in age to Alex's daughter, Charlie, than she is to Becky and Megan Rubino. I was like, wow. you said it, I didn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 17 year old who is here in Southern California. She plays on an under 17 MLS Next Boys team to give wow. you some perspective of how good she is. And she played on the under 20 team. She played at the under 20 World Cup. She had a goal and an assist but she's got pace, she's fast. We know she can score a lot of goals. Uh, we've seen her do it at the youth national team level. Uh, and clearly, I think this is a situation where this is an up and coming star who's maybe not there yet, of course, at 17, but it, it had to have been a decision, I imagine, for Vlad Gwendonovsky and his staff of weighing, okay, Midge Purse, for example, who plays in that right wing position. Alyssa is a winger. Do we we know what we can get from Midge? Midge hasn't, as Black Landonovsky said in his presser today, hasn't been top form. She's taken a dip in form. Her team Gotham uh, hasn't been playing that well. Well, that's an understatement. Hasn't been playing well at all. So he said it's a chance for me to look at another player, and it's a chance, hopefully, for Midge Purse to reset and get back in there. Uh, but I think it's actually an interesting move. I, I, I like it. I like the idea of okay, we're still eight months out from having to name a World Cup roster. And if we are going to look, it's going to be very selective now. They're going to start honing in on that that full uh, roster. But here's a player that seems to be special by all accounts and uh, is doing very well. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.